I wrote a lot of Unix software for the age of 16 bits, an editor that some people still use called VI. I remember squeezing the stuff into 16 bits. It was an incredible breath of fresh air to get a 32-bit computer because the large applications suddenly became possible, a lot of things we couldn't imagine doing before. 32-bit computing is ultimately responsible for driving the information technology revolution. 32-bit um, is a mature technology. 32-bits is here to stay. It will be here for quite some time. Uh, however, as we enter the digital media revolution, and the content and the data and the fidelity requirements are substantially greater than 32 bits can support. Playback of high definition video, whether that's downloaded shorts off the internet or new next generation DVDs coming out, really require a tremendous amount of processing power. We're hitting a bit of a wall, uh, even on how much further processors can go in a 32 bit environment or a 32 bit architecture. Uh, so we really need to jump that wall and what our application is looking for is more bandwidth, more breather room. The AMD Athlon 64 processor, we're finally bringing the 64-bit architecture to the x86 install base. Uh, we're going to be able to benefit, uh, along with uh, the rest of the world, the transition into 64 bits. And we're going to see, over the next couple of years, some very interesting applications that are developed for 64 bits. Having 32-bit and 64-bit compatibility enables us to move into this exciting new era while protecting all of the investments we've had so far. With the AMD Athlon 64-bit processor, we're looking for, for some great improvements in terms of the overall resolution, the quality of the audio, and the overall, uh, overall entertainment experience made possible on personal computers. What AMD is offering with their Athlon 64 is going to usher in a new level of performance for the end user to create projects faster, to get faster result in their complex effects, and transitions, and transcoding. And ultimately, uh, they'll be able to explore more creative options. When you have 64-bit computing on the desktop, and with the cost of memory declining so rapidly, you can start having interactive environments on the desktop, doing business simulations, graphical simulations, design simulations. A whole new level of interactivity becomes possible. The AMD Athlon 64-bit processor is really the ideal platform to help consumers make this transition into a brand new world that is going to be focused uh, very heavily on digital media content and very heavily focused on uh, the end user computing experience much, much more than just information processing.